when a potential customer adds your products to their shopping cart on your Shopify store, but then they don't end up completing the purchase, this is called an abandoned cart. However, did you know that you can recover many of these abandoned carts by simply setting up an abandoned cart email in Shopify? Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in this brief abandoned cart tutorial for Shopify, I'm going to walk you through the simple process of how you can set up an automated abandoned cart email inside of Shopify so that you can ultimately drive more conversions. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this brief Shopify tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and set up your abandoned cart email inside of Shopify. <music> Okay, so diving into this Shopify email tutorial, what we're going to do is walk through two different methods that you can use to set up an abandoned cart email. The first method is by using the built-in email function that Shopify offers. To get started and simply set up this abandoned cart email, what we want to do is simply navigate down to the left hand side and click on settings. Then under your Shopify settings, all you need to do is locate checkout. Within checkout, all we need to do is navigate down the page until you locate the abandoned checkout emails. Then come down to enable this feature by simply clicking send abandoned checkout emails automatically. And if we scroll down, we have a few simple options down here. We want to send this abandoned cart email to anyone who abandons their checkout. And then down under send after, we want to make sure that we have 10 hours, which is the recommended option selected and then navigate up to the top right hand corner and before we go ahead and customize this email what we want to do is go ahead and save these changes and then come down and click on customize email and this is where you have the option to make slight customizations to your abandoned cart email for example if we navigate up to email subject we can go ahead and change the email subject text if we like and i'm going to add don't forget to complete your purchase and I'm happy with my email subject. Now, if we navigate down to the body, what we can do is we can customize the text that's displayed on this email. Now, you don't want to mess around with any of this code within the brackets, as you can see down here and up here. If you want to make any changes, I recommend just making changes to the text. So, for example, if we navigate up to preview, we can preview the email that our potential customers will see if they abandoned their cart. So again, like I mentioned, you can make slight changes to this text over here if you like. We can also navigate down to send test email to preview what this email will look like in our inbox. Okay, so I'm going to navigate over and click close and then navigate up to save. And I'm going to exit out of this page. And congratulations, by enabling this abandoned cart email within Shopify, you're going to ultimately enhance your conversions. And to preview your abandoned cart email performance, simply navigate over to marketing over on the left hand side. Then come down and select automations. And under automations, you'll see our abandoned checkout email is active. We can go ahead and click on this automation. And here you can preview basic performance analytics. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back. And now what we want to do is briefly explore the second method of setting up an abandoned cart email sequence within Shopify's marketing automations. To do that, simply navigate over to create automations in the top right hand corner. Then come down and click on abandoned cart. And if we navigate up here, this is the abandoned cart email sequence that we can create. To do that, simply come down and click on turn on automation. And as you can see, we now have two automations that are active. First, what I want to do is go ahead and turn off this automation that we created at the start. So I'm going to navigate down and then select this option up here to turn off this email automation and then click on save and then exit. The reason I turned off this abandoned cart email is because we just activated this new abandoned cart email automation. Okay, so now if we go ahead and click on this email automation that we just activated, again, this is where we can see the performance of this automation. What we're going to do is navigate up to edit workflow. 
Okay, so let's briefly explain this abandoned cart workflow that we just activated. You can see that this is the trigger over here, which starts when a customer left an online store. Then this workflow is going to check if the abandonment type is equal to the cart. Shopify is going to wait four hours. And then if we navigate over to this block over here, and then this condition over here is check if customer hasn't added another product to cart and hasn't started checkout and hasn't completed an order since starting the workflow. Then you can see we have another condition over here and another condition here before the email is sent. And all these conditions need to be met in order for this email to be sent. And you can customize all these conditions if you like. For example, we can come down and click otherwise. So if this condition isn't met, we can create another flow from this abandoned cart workflow. But what we're going to do is keep it simple and click on this email. And that's going to show us what this email looks like. We can come down and click view email. And here we can preview what the email will look like that our potential customers will receive if they meet all those conditions that I showed you earlier. And then if we navigate up here, we have to subject, we can add a preview text and we have the from address over here. Now we can edit each of these items. The reason we have this little lock icon is because this email workflow is currently active. However, if we want to pause this email flow and start customizing the email, all we need to do is navigate up to edit and this email will revert back to a draft. However, once you're done editing and you've saved this email, your email will be ready to start sending again. So what we're gonna do is come down and click continue. And then if we navigate down here, you'll notice that we can further customize this email campaign. And there are two main differences of creating an abandoned cart email between both those methods that I've showed you. Remember the first method is the built-in email function. This is A, limited to the overall customization of your email, and two, you have limited control over the conditions of that email being sent. However, using Shopify's marketing automations and setting up an abandoned cart workflow, you can customize the entire workflow and all the different conditions as well as having more control over the look and style of your email campaign that is sent to your potential customers if they have abandoned their cart. For example, if we navigate up here, we can click and we have these basic formatting options up here. And then if we navigate over to the right hand side, we have more expanded customization options. We can change the font, the font size. Again, we have these formatting options and we have the text color as well as the link color and the section alignment down here. Again, we can click on this block element up here and within the header element, if we navigate over to the right hand side, we can use either the store name or we can upload the logo of our business. And again, we have these basic customization options down here. Now, if we come down and click on add section, we can add additional block elements or sections to our abandoned cart email. For example, we can add text, we can add a button, image, divider. We can also add a discount or a gift card to entice this potential customer to follow through with this purchase. We can also add a product, an image with text, multi-column, and then express checkout. So what I'm going to do is actually exit out of that section and navigate back up to the top and I'm happy with my abandoned cart email. Now we can also navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on this computer icon and we can preview what our email will look like on mobile and desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on mobile, and this is what our abandoned cart email will look like if a potential customer is opening up this email on their mobile. Now, once you've made any changes to your abandoned cart workflow, simply navigate up to save. And I'm gonna navigate over to exit on the far left-hand side. And if we navigate down here, you can see that the abandoned cart email sequence or workflow that we just created and customized is active again once we made those changes to the email and then the abandoned cart email that we created within Shopify has been deactivated. So those are the two methods that you can use to set up your abandoned cart email. Remember the built-in Shopify email feature is very basic but simple to set up in just a few clicks. Whereas the abandoned cart email flow gives you more customization options to the entire workflow, the entire email automation. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Shopify abandoned cart tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this process make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.